My max deadlift is 265 kilos, but my max squat is only 175 kilos. Do you know why this is? I'm six foot five and he's 16 stone. 16 stone is 101 kilos for any wondering. Thanks. No period. So you've answered your own question there. Uh, it's just so what this might be a case of rather than thinking my squat is really weak. You probably should be thinking I'm just really fucking good at deadlifting in comparison. So my deadlift is just good. You're good at deadlifting and squatting for you at six foot five. Now, normally people are like, I'm too tall to squat. And they're like five eleven. I'm like, shut the fuck up, you know. Six foot five is genuinely starting to get into the realms of things where it's kind of like, oh, he's maybe, that's maybe too tall. Yeah. Like six foot one is fine. Six foot two is fine. I feel like the closer you start getting to that seven foot, you're just getting to a realm where squats are are genuinely just a little bit harder for you no matter what no, you do they're significantly more yeah difficult it, it's three, it, like, it yeah. is it's a legitimate normally people are like taller lifters and they're six foot i don't buy it but six foot five i'd say probably what's the case here you're just very limmy you've probably a long reach a long wind spang um but whatever appropriate size torso it's unlikely you have a very short torso so you or maybe who knows but it's probably just likely that you have a decent deadlift compared to your squat and it's just harder for you to squat that is a big discrepancy for sure but it's likely a morphology thing i would say yeah i think in general with taller lifters when you get this kind of discrepancy they tend to be their own worst enemy so just to give a, a quick example here they'll tend to squat with their feet wider and toes out to the side they'll tend to squat very low bar and they'll really incline like really incline over and that's because they're they have badder or badder they have worse squatting mechanics right so it's difficult for them to squat well and then they go to a secondary position that that aren't or they use secondary positions that aren't good and their squat doesn't get better so what they end up doing and it's probably true in your case if there's that kind of discrepancy like a 90 kilo discrepancy between uh, squat and deadlift more than likely you've drastically underdeveloped your quads and if it was me or if i was coaching you i would be getting those feet narrower toes pointed more straight ahead you might only be able to squat to three or four inches above parallel but you need to keep the knees forward the entire time keep the knees forward on the way back up and you'll start to get genuine development in your quads and it's probably something that mightn't have happened at all in your your athletic career up until this but um squat with high bar positions squat to parallel or to just above it and actually get strong legs don't just turn the squat into like a kind of good morning with a bit of knee bend in it 